Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about artificial intelligence or AI. We will go over the history and definition of AI, subsets or fields within AI, application of AI in different industries, types of AI, advantages of using AI, and finally we will touch upon the challenges when it comes to AI adoption. Artificial intelligence in its most simplistic definition is the ability for the machines to think and act like humans, essentially to be able to mimic human behavior. Now the history of go history of AI goes back to 1940s. You can look up the Turing machines and Turing test as an example. And then there were development made over the next couple of decades. However, uh, AI has seen rapid advances over the last two to three decades. Now let's take a look at the fields or subsets within AI. The first one would be machine learning. As you may have heard of, this is the ability of the machines or the programs to be able to learn from historical data and be able to then predict the future. There are different fields within AI, deep learning, reinforcement, reinforcement learning, supervised, unsupervised learning, and so on. We are not going to spend time going into each of these subsets in detail here. If you want to learn about that, then we recommend that you look at our other tutorials. Then we have natural language processing. Now for machines to be able to act like humans, they should be able to understand not just the binary language of zeros or ones, but they should be able to understand how humans speak. So NLP is a key subset within AI. Then we have other fields like robotics, computer vision, uh, speech processing, and uh, this list kind of varies. There are there could be other additions to this list, but then you could argue that fields like robotics, computer vision, vision, speech processing could be fields within themselves, and then AI could be applied within those fields. Now, the opportunity for application of AI within different industries is limitless. Here are, all, here are just some examples. As an example, in healthcare, you might be able to improve patient outcomes by predicting patient diagnosis. And this is not just looking at patient data as an example, which could be text data, patient's history and symptoms. You could go beyond that. You can actually scan the patient x-rays and from image, you can figure out uh, what the associated disease is. Auto, uh, automotive, I mean, we are looking at uh, self-driving cars as an example. In finance, you might be able to better predict credit a person's uh, credit credit score going forward, or you might be able to catch fraud. There are many other examples, customer support, help desk, personal assistant, I mean, uh, Alexa is a great example of that. So this list is endless. There are so many possibilities for applying AI across different industries. Now, there are three types of AI in terms of capability. We have narrow or weak intelligence, and essentially what that means is ability for AI machines or systems to be hacked in that environment where everything is goal-oriented. So they know that they need to diagnose a patient as an example. That is a clear goal. Uh, they might be playing uh, games of chess. That's a clear goal. And that is what's referred to as narrow or weak intelligence. Then we have general intelligence, and what that um, means is to be able to mimic human intelligence. So you have cognitive aspects where humans can scan the entire environment and are just not focusing on one goal and then be they're able to make smart decisions. And then you have super intelligence. And what that means is uh, ability for the machines to go past human intelligence level and be able to make decisions even better than humans. Currently, we are at a narrow or weak intelligence level. What are some of the benefits of using AI? So the most obvious one is cost savings. If businesses replace humans uh, with machines, they are going to save a lot of money. Then you have efficiency or productivity. Uh, machines are not prone to error like humans. And then machines can work around the clock. So uh, there's more productivity. Uh, then there's no limit to uh, finding resources if you want uh, three customer support people as an example you would need to hire them and you might not find right resources but with machines robots there's no such limit and finally we have safety with uh, things like you know uh, implementation of ai in healthcare 
or in self-driving cars as an example, you may be able to improve upon human safety and lives. And finally, let's take a look at the challenges or concerns in terms of the AI adoption. So accuracy is a big one. Uh, like we discussed earlier, AI systems are not quite there yet in terms of accuracy and to be able to uh, completely replace humans. And that kind of limits the ability for AI to be applied to uh, all the fields. Then you have the ethics or the moral aspect of it where humans in different cases because of uh, the human aspect of the nature can make the moral decisions, decisions that are morally right. There's a question around machines to be able to do that. Sometimes if AI is not applied properly in terms of solving the right business problem or the AI system is not good enough, businesses might not see return on investment. And then there are some long-term concerns around how AI systems will either work with the human uh, workforce, what would that environment be like, or could they potentially uh, move people out of work completely? So that sums up this tutorial. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please put that in the comment section of the video or alternatively submit your feedback at launchpad.com. Thank you.